guys ever heard the term happy as a clam? Well, they're kind of harvested for their flesh and they are ripped out of their homes, so I don't think that's really happy. <laughs> so, I think that's totally cool. Um, but I'm here to talk about hunting because I love it and it's an age-old food game process and it can save your life if you're stranded by a river and it can give you uh, art supplies. Um, and I think clam digging is productive and fun. Uh, this is a saltwater clam. It's really different from the ones here in Iowa. It's so colorful because there's something to do with the pH balance in the water. It's different than fresh and salt water. And saltwater clams, they look like this here in Iowa. They're really boring and ugly on the outside. Um, on the inside, though, they can have interesting little things. Um, the kids, though, took all my pink clams, so I could show you one of the pink ones. But they come in pink is most common. White is uh, just common. And blue or black is really rare because it comes from pearls. And this one, it was in the process of making a pearl, but then probably a raccoon or something ate it before it could actually form it. So it turns black or blue when it's making a pearl. It's irritated. Pearls are made by uh, irritation in the clam. They get sand in their mouths and they, uh, their skin like gets irritated so then it pushes up the shell and it makes a pimple and falls off. That's when you open a clam. And then this is what a clam depression looks like. It's really round looking and it's really tiny. And in the middle, you can stick your finger in there for about like a half inch, and then it'll be all weird. And that's where the clam is breathing, because they're alive, obviously. And uh, it usually looks like that, but sometimes you can find them like this. And this is how you normally find them in Iowa, because our sediment patterns change all the time with the tides in the rivers and usually they're just sticking out there or uh, they'll be upside down with their uh, mouth out because that's where they breathe. I don't know why these are flipped. And they feed off the tide and the flow of the water. Uh, they eat algae and microorganisms, kind of like how a whale eats krill. And this is how uh, I clam dig. I just use like a shovel and look for them. They're really easy to find. Some people use these fancy cylinders that you can hoist them in and out of the sand. And if you're over the depression of the <coughs> sand of the clam, you can pull them out or something. Uh, they also use pitchforks for unknown reasons. They're like combing the clam. And they also use their hands. I sometimes do my hands too. You can just stick your hand in the hole and pull it out. But most people don't do that. Um, so, yeah. And so, yeah. I really think clam digging is fun because you get to find pretty things like this. Or you could eat them, but I wouldn't recommend that because they taste kind of gross. <laughs> They're really fishy and oily. And also be happier than a clown. <laughs>